children of God, I welcome you to Himan Church Online English Worship. Today is another exciting day for us to learn about faith. But before we're gonna do that, let us all stand up. Let's sing and dance for God's glory. Let's go. The joy of the Lord and He is my strength When I'm feeling happy, happy. Or if I'm sad and blue Second Peter 3.18 Second Peter 3.18 
Most loving, kind, and awesome Father in heaven, we come to you praising your name, knowing that you're the only one who's worthy of our worship. Today, as we continue our Bible study about faith, I pray that your people will just be blessed and be transformed. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Children of God, it's time for us to get our Bible. It's our Bible time, so have your Bible with you right now and open it with me in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 23 to 28. And let's watch this. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. So Moses ran away from Egypt to the land of Midian. After many years, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses and told him to go back to Egypt to free the Israelites. After much protesting, God granted Moses his brother Aaron to speak on his behalf. So Moses went to Egypt. And on his way there, he met Aaron who was ready to do whatever God wanted him to do. The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians, but God had a special plan for Moses. After rallying God's people to them, Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. and said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has said. Let my people go. Uh -huh. And Pharaoh made the Israelites work harder because of this. The foremen of the Israelite slaves were angry with Moses and Aaron for causing this trouble. So Moses cried out to God and asked why this was happening. But God said, you will see what I will do. I am the Lord. I will deliver you from slavery. Wow, okay. Hey. Moses told this to the people. But they were so discouraged that they didn't listen to him. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and to do exactly as he said. So Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. God told them to take the staff and throw it down before Pharaoh. Pharaoh was not impressed. He called his wise men and sorcerers and they did the same thing. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> but Aaron's staff swallowed up the sorcerer's staff. Uh? Yet Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them. Shoo, shoo. Just as God had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the banks of the Nile River and meet Pharaoh. Hey, Pharaoh! Oh, Moses and Aaron did just as God had said. But again, Pharaoh's magicians did the same miracle, and Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. So God sent nine more plagues to Egypt to show his power. Even with all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard, and he would not let the people go.
On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up huh? and heard a great cry in Egypt. Oh, no. For there was not a house in Egypt where someone was not dead. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and told him to be gone with the Israelites. So the Israelites left Egypt immediately and made their way to the promised land, taking with them many riches from Egypt, and they took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. But after they had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his armies come, they were terrified. But God made a way for them. Through all of this, the Israelites saw the great power of their God, the one true God, and they put their trust in Moses, his servant. Children of God, as you already watched, we know that our Bible story today is all about the faith of Moses. Next to Joseph, we will be talking another incredible man and his name is Moses. We will have a quick and deep look at the life of Moses and reveals a lot of life lessons, especially about faith. And join with me as we read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 23. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of the king's edict. Pharaoh of Egypt decreed that all newborn Israelites boys must be drawn in the river. It was his way of population control. But Moses' parents didn't do as the king decreed. Rather, they hid him for three months until God intervened and Moses was taken to the place to be cared for by Pharaoh's own daughter. How did they manage to hide their baby boy for three months and escape his imminent death? The author of the book of Hebrews tells us that it was their faith. They saw he was very special and they trusted that God had a purpose for his life. We have to take note of this. Having a believer parent is a blessing. Here, we are reminded that our faith in God can always protect us from all danger. Verses 24 to 28 says, By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a short time. He regarded this grace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasure of Egypt because he was looking ahead to his reward. By faith, Moses left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who is invisible. He had everything any man could ever want, from fame and fortune to position and prestige to glory and honor. But for him, Faith in God is greater than anything in this world. The author of Hebrews gives us a glimpse of his remarkable faith. That faith makes you different from others. Moses rejected the life and the pleasure of sin for something better, something noble, something godly. Furthermore, he also refused to identify himself as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. And he chose to identify with God's suffering people. Now, we can really tell that he has a very strong faith. Well, we see that true faith brings a true believer to this point in his life 
where he or she given choices reject the life of sin and choose instead the right values and they make the right decisions faith is first making a choice to reject the world and its pleasure moses chose another way of life he live by faith children of god not only that we can also see that moses suffered for his faith faith is standing up before the mountain and believing that you can't move it but that God can. Children of God, let us all remember this and be challenged by that fate of Moses that no matter what this world offers, no matter how wonderful it is, the faith that you have in Christ, the faith that you have in God is the most important thing because that's your relationship. Today, let's be challenged and be changed by the Word of God. Let your faith be a faith of Moses who is not scared to leave everything just to follow Christ. Let us all pray. Dear God, awesome Father, we thank you for giving us your Word today that is reminding us that we need to have that faith that is not scared of anything, but just believe that you are the God who promised us the best reward. Lord, I pray for your children, that they will continue to grow in faith. Thank you for everything that you have done in our lives. We bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, children of God, for joining our worship today. I'll see you all next week. God bless you.